Chio. Thanks for taking the time to join us. My pleasure to be here, guys. You have now reached the end of your first regular season uh, as an MLS head coach. Where do you, how do you feel about the way your team is playing right now, heading into decision day and then the playoffs? Yeah, no, I, I think uh, the past two matches have been very good. The guys have shown maturity, that we're on the same page. Uh, I think one very good thing is that I see the guys uh, looking fresh, you know, and at this time of the season usually is the moment that because the season is very long uh, that guys start feeling tired and, and I see them still fresh with a lot of desire to continue to compete, which is a, a, a positive. When you look at the season as a whole, from the first game away at LA Galaxy to what is going into the final game of regular season, what stands out to you as a whole about this team? Um, I will tell you at the end of the season. <laughs> <laughs> because it's not yet uh, finished, I want to yeah. make sure that we speak all the way around. I usually like to look back towards the end, yeah. and I think hopefully, God willing, we have a lot more games to play. Well, if we look at it right now, Jake mentioned with the two RSL games, seven goals in the last two games. In terms of form, in terms of where the team is at right now, what stands out to you right now about the team and the I, form I, they're in? I think the discipline uh, in the guys, what they have shown in the past two games, the ability to be able to also be a threat going forward. Um, I think how every player that we put on the field tries to perform and uh, how everybody's on the same page, you know, and, and that's very positive. Uh, this past two performance, um, the guys uh, work very well, they, they execute the plan in a perfect way and, um, and there were two difficult matches. And how fresh the guys do look, Diego Charo, we're just getting a look at this now with did, the second did, did goal of the game. you fast forward that? <laughs> no. Oh, no, looks like <laughs> it, doesn't it? <laughs> what were your thoughts at that point in the match and obviously such a tremendous goal? No, I mean, the, the, the goal was great, very important. We were talking about it before, it, was, it came at a very important point in the game. But uh, just a sprint from, from Chara, it was incredible. I mean, he just flew between players, and uh, but that, that's him. <laughs> and then if he didn't score at that point, he would run back the same speed. <laughs> so. Another player who's, who's been in such good form for you, not only in that match, but, but really the whole season in the past few months especially, is Sebastian Blanco. How important has his recent form been for, for your team's success? Yeah, I, I think once you talk about Seba, you have to talk about Valeri and sure. Liam and, and all the other guys, you know, Guzman. Uh, now, you know, I think everyone is contributing in a big way uh, to the team and, and everybody has a role to play. I mean, Seba is doing very well through the entire season. Uh, in this game, he was able to find a goal again, which was very important. But also Valeri was uh, instrumental in a lot of the attack and, and he's been working hard as well to, to help defensively the team and all around everyone. I, I'm very content with the group right now. With that group for you as a player, is it a team that you would have enjoyed being on the team for and playing in amongst being selected in the 11? No doubt. <laughs> <laughs> no doubt. I think, uh, you know, it, it's definitely a team that, um, that is feeling comfortable right now in regards to the way we're playing. And uh, hopefully, as I said, you know, I mean, we can, we can uh, leave from the past games. We have to work every single day and, and continue to, you know, work hard. But there's a good spirit in, in, in the practice facility. There's a good, good spirit around and, and that's a positive. One thing I heard you say a few weeks ago is that momentum is not just game to game, it's practice to practice. Correct. How do you keep that momentum going every practice now through decision day and into the playoffs? Uh, to make sure that the guys understand that every time that they step inside those lines in, in the soccer field, that they have to perform, that they have to push and they have to do the best that they, that they can, you know, in every single exercise, every single practice, every single uh, decision that they have to make and, uh, and we have to work uh, with a lot of honesty and, and being humble to, to, the, to the job and, uh, and, and face every game to, to understand that we have to respect every team that we play and we're going to do the same thing against Vancouver, it's going to be a very tough game this weekend, uh, but it's about the day to day that we have to make sure that we're good all the time. But I, I look at the Whitecaps. Tricky situation, new manager, temporary manager, and players, some of their situations in flux. What do you expect from the Whitecaps this weekend? A difficult team. Yeah. Uh, last game, uh, they want to show well to the fence. They're going to fight very hard. They're going to have, in my way of looking, uh, a very good starting team that is going to be complicated. Um, you mentioned a few of their very good players. They have others, Reina and other players, that yeah. Techera and difficult players, so it's going to be a, a tough match, but we're going there uh, to try to work hard, to try to get points, and, uh, and understanding that it's going to be a difficult day. Your first time going up to Vancouver as well? First time. <laughs> what, do you, what are you expecting going up there? You won't have much time, obviously, to take I it. heard so many good things about the city, uh, yeah. but, uh, you know, it's just to be able to see it, but most, I'm excited about the match. Yeah. Uh, going there, playing, and, 
and as I said, trying to uh, get the points that we have to get and, and then see where we're going to finish because any, any scenario is possible yeah. in, uh, in, in this uh, conference uh, at the moment. Yeah, you guys could play any of the six other teams still alive for the playoffs. You know, there's seven, a group of seven now, six of them will be in. Every game kicking off at the same time, this decision day, how do you as a manager kind of deal with that, knowing that results are going to be changing as you're playing and you won't know any results before you go out there? What I can tell you is that we're going to concentrate only in our game. Yeah. Uh, we're going to focus in the things that we need to do in the match, uh, just make sure that we go there with a team that we feel can compete uh, and being able to, to get the points that we need and, and try as much as we can to get the three points. Uh, then after the game, we look at the results, we see you know, what happened, yeah. and then we'll start analyzing from there. You've been in playoffs before, obviously as a player in MLS uh, and, and as a manager in, in NASL, and you've had a lot of success with the Cosmos winning championships. You guys know you're in the playoffs. You don't know who you'll play. But as you get there, um, what have your teams that have succeeded, that have won championships, what have they been able to do in a playoff setting? The understanding that these games now require a higher level uh, than, than reg the regular season. The maturity has to be higher. Uh, the focus on, on details have to be better. Uh, it's just you have to step it up uh, and make sure that you match up because those teams come with confidence now also that they're in the playoff and anything can happen. Um, so it's required from, you know, from everyone on the, on the team, the coaching staff, the players, and any player just to be ready for when they get called to be able to play.